Hey everybody, welcome back to a brand new episode of our Minecraft 1.14 Let's Play. Hope you guys are all doing well today. I'm doing fantastic. Today, we are on episode 43. I can't believe we're almost on episode 50 already, guys. Anyways, before we get into the video, let's do our question of the day. If Mojang was to make Minecraft 2, do you think that it would live up to the height and success of Minecraft 1? What do you think it would even be about? Let me know down in the comment section below. I'd really like to know what you guys think. If you enjoy the video and you want to see more, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe and turn on those notifications for when the videos come out. Let's get into it. To get started with today's episode, I want to do a few things uh, to this spawner. First off, I want to see about maybe wrangling the canal where they kind of fall into. I want to see if I can make that a little bit better. Not to mention, I want to actually see about adding another layer to this thing because I think we can make this spawner so much better. So right now, let's go ahead and fly up there and I'll show you what I have done uh, to this point to change things just a little bit. First and foremost, I put blocks around the top portion. I wanted to see if I could stop the mobs from getting on the inside portion there. So by using a full block and a trap door, I was able to block them from getting on the platform. Now, as you can see, there's still a little bit of a problem there, but I think we can manage. Um, so to get started with this, this new level um, and this AFK stuff, let's grab some glass. And I think this will probably be the easiest way to do this because we want to make this an AFK farm. I think that would probably be the ultimate goal, actually. Um, so what I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to remove some of the trap doors and put glass in in certain spots. Like, for example, right here. I would like to completely block where the mobs are going. That way we can control it the best. So let's do this real fast and just kind of see what happens. I think this will work pretty good because they're still going to target the egg. Um, and I think we can probably make this work really well. So let's do that. There we go. There we go. Okay, so now let's get away from it real fast because we can't be within a certain range of uh, blocks. And then they should just... Oh yeah, they're definitely just targeting the middle. Let's watch them that was the one thing that i was afraid was going to happen it was just going to get clogged up like that huh hmm okay so that that could be an issue we can probably find another way around that um the main thing is, is i think we just need to figure out a way to stop the mobs from getting onto that trap door hmm you know what i do have another idea let's go ahead and try this real fast I'm not sure if it's going to work or not, but it just involves removing this block and putting a trap door right here. This guy really just doesn't want to. There we go. All right, let's try it again. See what happens. Okay, so now that we have removed that, see if we can get the ones to go on that side. Um, I have noticed that, like, you know, I've actually noticed that if you are a little bit standing a little bit closer, it actually seems to spawn more mobs sometimes. So they're still going on that side. I mean, I mean, it seems like it's working pretty well for that like little portion. I need to try, hold on, try to get some mobs in there. They're not spawning on the side that I want them to. It's not fair. <laughs> the punks. All right. <clears throat> no okay so we're definitely gonna have to fix that okay well i will think about that what i want to do now though is i want to move on to testing a second layer um what we'll do is we'll go three blocks down from uh the top layer and i've got all kinds of goodies here with me i've got some more eggs uh more glass more glowstone a ton of stone brick things like that so let me go ahead and get a platform up there and I think we'll build the surrounding. Okay guys, I think to get started with this test, let's build sort of uh, something in similar in fashion, but I think that when the mobs fall down, they're probably going to get caught up on the bottom layer because they're, if they're getting caught up on the top when they fall, they're probably gonna get caught up on, this, on the second layer. So what I think we're gonna do is we're gonna make the layer below it a little bit different. What I think I'm going to do 
is I think I'm going to first off make this the wrong size. Yeah, that's the wrong size. Let me fix that. <laughs> first off, we're going to start off by being complete failures. There we go. And then um, we'll put the egg right there. So let's put the block there, put that right there. And then to make it to where the mobs cannot get inside of there, let me get rid of this. I am just placing everything wrong today, aren't I? So the mobs will fall down. Now we don't want any chance of the mobs getting in there. So what I think we're gonna do is put a double layer door on top of this. Now, I am assuming that the, the mobs will still aggro it. So let's see if we can make this work. So there, oh, that's, trap doors are so annoying sometimes, man. I always forget that you gotta do it from the inside or the outside, apparently. Okay, try it again here. Let me place it. There we go. <laughs> Good Lord, man. All right. Place that in there. Fantastic. So now that that's there, let's open that up and remove this and put an egg right there. So now that we have that in there, let's remove that and remove this over here. So we will have, uh, I'm just gonna try it on this side for now. We're gonna try like just a temporary, tiny little test just to see how this is gonna work. Cause we don't wanna build this entire thing and it not work. That would suck. There we go. All right, fantastic. So now I'm just going to build this platform out like so. I wonder how we, we should probably make it a good distance out. Maybe like 20 blocks or something like that. We definitely wanna see, wanna see if we can get a good amount of mobs to spawn in this thing. So I'm going to get the platform built and then I'm going to make an AFK platform on the side over here to just see if I can get mobs to spawn here and see how they react to a, another side. Um, so I'll be back. All right, guys. First test of our new layer. Not sure uh, if I am still close enough. Let's keep going back just a little ways here. I want to see if I can get mobs to spawn on the bottom platform. Oh, OK. Well, we got one spawn. I wonder if it's just tricky. I will say this being up on this level compared to down below, there are a lot more spawns. Oh, I'm so glad I put that in one of the way that I did. Okay. So I haven't seen anything on the bottom level yet. It could be the location that we're standing. Let's fly a little bit. But I, I swear there's more mobs on that top level now. A lot more actually. Oh, we actually got bottom level spawns too. Did they aggro? They definitely aggroed. Okay, so I think a bottom layer is gonna be the play here, people. Okay, all right, so yeah, I was just looking. I don't think that uh, me flying around is probably helping the spawn issue any. There we go. So the only thing we have to kind of figure out is uh, how we want to entity cram these guys. Um, once we figure out a way to combine them all together, I think we'll be okay. But for now we are getting, I think we're getting quite a bit of spawns. This is awesome. This thing is working really good.
all right guys hope that you enjoyed the speed up it was a lot of fun we got all the blocks placed in so now i am going to do this real fast hopefully they can't jump up there <laughs> oh, they're really trying aren't they there we go let him come over here he may have destroyed my egg but it's fine did he destroy the egg he did destroy the egg didn't he can't see in there that right there oh no he didn't okay anyways i um i want to move the egg up a level because i put it in the wrong spot in the first place so let's come over here i actually built this entire thing one too low oh there we go all right fix all this real fast gotta kind of hurry because if we get mobs spawning down here then that's gonna be a problem so make sure that that's soap touch okay we got the egg back put a block down put the egg right there and then let's remove all these so we can redo that let's not break the egg ourselves. okay all right cool remove all that probably gonna have to get oh get more trap doors all right, so that's all taken care of now. So we got to figure out how we're going to have this do entity cramming. I, I have a few different ideas. Obviously, we want just four sections of entity cramming just on each side. So let, first off, let's put a row of blocks in here. Just like that. And there. Okay. Now so we have the egg there we need to put our trap doors around that there we go so i would assume hold on i need to go downstairs real fast i have an idea i have a crafting table down here by the way <laughs> that's why i'm coming down here let's make some slabs we definitely need to um we definitely need to figure out a better positioning for uh, for everything, too. There we go. Did they break that egg again? No. Okay. Phew. So what I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to place a block and then a slab. Get rid of that. Actually, the mobs wouldn't be able to fall through there. And they're breaking the egg on top again. Dude. That must be a baby in there. It's gotta be. Okay, so now that we have that, and unfortunately we have to leave the uh, the top open. It's gotta have a two airspace above it. That's the only way that the mobs can aggro it. So something like that. Let's get rid of this. So I don't know if we're gonna be able to make this an AFK farm. I think we will. I think it's just gonna take some time to figure out what I wanna do actually. So I'll have to replace the egg on top. Hmm. So when the mobs fall down, they'll fall through. But like I said, we need to corral them into a main area. So I've got to figure that out. I'll be back. Okay, guys. So here's the deal. Initially, I was going to do entity cramming. Um, but here's the problem that I think a lot of us missed. Um, for entity cramming to work, the, mo the mobs have to be aggroed and the our mobs weren't so the problem with that was we were not going to get xp from it so i had to change the game um and i was having problems with mobs getting stuck uh and all kinds of just little issues but now i have uh not only have i fixed it but it seems to be working pretty well um we're having new mobs drop down so i can pretty much just stand here and get um, almost unlimited XP. I have noticed a little bit of uh, delay between mobs at some points, but you know, for the most part, we are getting quite a bit of XP. So, first things first. What did I do? Well, we uh, with with us doing entity cramming, we were going to only do a one wide gap with the mobs um, falling into a central hole. So we were having an issue with mobs uh, not falling off the edge very quickly for this. So to remedy that situation, uh, I removed everything out of the middle and put stairs on both levels. 
the stairs kind of kind of get the mobs in the right direction there right they have trap doors to to fall off on and my, we may not even need the trap doors up here let's go down a level show you what that looks like as well there we go so down a level is pretty much the same i've got this kind of blocked off so nothing can really get in there and as you can see we are getting we're getting quite a bit of xp so this xp that you see in my inventory now uh, is actually after a death. I purposely killed myself just to see how much XP and how fast I could get it. So I've got some books and stuff with me real fast. Break. Oh, that's not what I'm looking for. By the way, oh, um, fortune. There we go. That's what I want. So let's break that. Uh, okay, we have a little bit now. So let's go ahead and do some enchanting. Respiration 3, I'm breaking. Uh, fire protection. Uh, efficiency. I'm just trying to get through some XP here. Okay, so what I have done is I have cleared my XP for an official test. The issue that I'm running into is that it seems like sometimes mob spawning is very, very delayed. Uh, and other times it seems like it, it, it works perfect. It almost seems like it's an issue to do with Minecraft more than my setup together because if we fly up here and take a look um go a little bit higher so there's mobs there but it only seems to the mobs seem to be working much better when i'm actually up there so anyways point being if i stand here as you can see i was trying to see if i can maybe got up higher like on this enchant table that me being in a certain location might make it work a little bit better obviously the more to the center location that i am the better um but mobs are not having any problems falling down so point being let's go ahead and just kind of see how fast or how long it might actually take to get a high level of xp like let's say 30 levels because that's what everybody always wants to go for so the problem is is that uh, we do have some falling in the 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 reason this farm is so is supposed to be so good is because uh if you've got mobs falling in consistently and replenishing your xp you can literally just sit here all day long and hit them there we go so now they're aggroed on me i had to shift there we go okay so it does seem to be working a little bit better now it's very very finicky i say that and then like literally no mobs spawn <laughs> all right okay i feel it i feel it all right so to get level 30 it would take us probably two to three minutes full if this thing is working like it's supposed to okay guys so i think that's probably going to do it for today's episode we got a lot done we that was just like 10 baby zombies or <laughs> baby zombie pigmen <laughs> we got a new layer put on we lowered the pigmen or the golems down we made a new shoot and we finally finally came up with a solution for the mobs falling into the trap perfectly so i think that's a win for today so i promise next episode we won't be in the nether because <laughs> i know it gets kind of boring so uh but i hope you guys enjoyed today's episode and if you did make sure you hit the like button and subscribe this is ijevin all the pigmen peace out everybody